everybody, Jacqueline here. Today's video, I wanted to talk about what I bring when I go plein air painting besides just my art kit that I have another video about. I've gotten more comments recently about what bag do you use? What's that chair that I see in your clips? Um, so I wanted to dive in today to go about that. But before I do, if you like this video or want to see any future videos about me painting outside, painting in my studio, um, go ahead and give that thumbs up and a subscribe if you'd like to. <laughs> so we're going to go into this bag. So I like to use my day hike bag when Ryan and I go hiking. It's just a bag I already have. So that's the best bag you can have is the bag you already have. You don't have to go out and buy like a brand new thing. Although we all know it's very fun to buy new things. So my bag is the Osprey Tempest 24. It's a perfect day hiking bag. It has um, these hip belts on the side and just fits everything I need perfectly. So usually I'm wearing a hat, um, but it's a little, it's the evening now, so I don't need the hat right now, but I like to strap that on there. On this front area, this is where I keep my tripod, my little mini tripod to put my phone on. Um, when I don't have Ryan with me to pho photograph and video on the big girl camera, I like to use this guy and just pop my phone in there. It looks like I have another hat in case I forget a hat. I am all about wearing <laughs> things to protect myself from the sun. And then at the bottom of here, I just have some plastic bags um, to throw away trash I come upon, my own trash from snacks or whatnot but that's what's in the front part. Also, when I'm out in nature, um, to help with leave no trace and not leave toilet paper when I'm going number one, I like to use the Kula cloth. It's just a antimicrobial, I think that's how you say it, uh, pea cloth. So I have that strap right here on the outside. On this side, I have both my water bottle and a bear spray. Ryan and I tend to be in bear country, and so just better safe than sorry to have that guy. On this side of the pack, this is where I have my chair. Um, I have a fancier backpacking chair because we spend a lot of time outdoors. So it has been an upgrade. We just did this uh, past year to upgrade to the Helinox Chair Zero. REI also has like their version of it. You can also use a sit pad. Sometimes I have strapped on here a nice sit pad. Uh, I know I can last about an hour sitting on a sit pad, but with the chair, I can last a lot longer. And usually when I'm out painting, I'll paint longer than an hour. So it's a nice upgrade that I have here. Then on the hip belts, this side just holds my tissues. My nose runs all the time. So I have a zone dedicated pocket for tissues. And this side is empty right now, but it usually has snacks in it. Moving on to the front, right up here, this is where I usually keep like my phone, car keys, those type things. But I also have an extra bulldog clip. I, it looks like right now I have like my little field notes journal. And then I have this little itty bitty ditty. <laughs> I think that's what Ryan calls them, ditty bags. Uh, in here, I'll have just medicine, feminine products, a little tiny Swiss Army knife. Again, this is a little bit more towards uh, day packing, day hiking with my backpack, but I keep it in there. Okay. And some trash. So that's what's in there. Hey, I wanted to hop on here because I forgot to say two things in the form of sun protection. So I like to wear my Patagonia sun hoodie. It has a hood so I can pull it up and it can protect my ears when I'm wearing my hat. Um, and then also I just got these, they're Outdoor Research Sun Hoodie Gloves. I love these things. They're fingerless so I can still paint easily and they just protect the top of my hands because when you're outside, there's a lot of sun most likely, even when it's cloudy. So I just wanted to hop on here and show these guys. So I really like this bag that has a nice rigid frame here on the back and this kind of flops open. So usually when I'm sitting with the chair, I can just kind of like lean this up against it and then get inside very easily. Um, first thing, let's 
snacks. I usually, like I said, have snacks in the front um, hip belt pocket, but I also love having extra snacks. So this is a Resby reusable pack. Um, it's dishwasher safe and so you can clean it out. And we just try to limit ourselves to less plastic as possible. I'll link below um, where this one's from or even some REI ones that I think are really, really good. Then in this little mesh pocket, I have my first aid kit. Again, this is my day hiking bag, but it is perfect for when it, even when I'm out um, plein air painting. Um, sometimes when I'm with Ryan uh, and he goes fishing, one time he fell on accident uh, in the river and got a little scrape. So I was able to like help him right away. I also get bug bites, so I have bug bite stuff in here. Um, this is a custom made one that we put together. It's waterproof and uh, I'll link in the description some other ones that I like as well. Uh, I just thought the cute little sticker was cute. Then in here, I have both my artboard with all my papers and my kit. Now I have a whole video um, on my channel that you can go check out. Uh, I'll link it below of what I bring and what this all looks like. Um, I won't go into all of it now because I have a video about it. At the bottom here, I have a spare semi-rain jacket, wind jacket, um, that I've had this thing for years. I got it a long, long time ago. It folds perfectly into its own little pocket. So I always toss this into like whatever bag I have just right at the bottom. And then right now it looks like I just have my journal here. Uh, usually when I do my morning pages and I journal, I'll use my, um, field notes that I have on the top, but we're on a camping trip right now. So I decided to bring like the actual big guy, but I don't always bring this just cause it's, it's more weight. Um, but yeah, I think that that is it. This is all the extra stuff that I bring. Um, I'll link everything down below if I can find it. And I hope that this is something that, uh, inspires you to put together a bag and go out there and paint. So I'd love to hear in the comments below what you like to put in your bag. What bag do you use? Is there a cuter one you use? Or I just like to hear that. I love chatting with you guys in the comments. It's been um, very rewarding and wonderful. And yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.